Cincinnati, Ohio, and today we have Raphael with us, or uh, Rafi for short. And uh, he's a Wheaton Terrier, he's about a year and a half old. And he comes to us because even though he's 24 pounds, he can just about drag mom wherever he wants and he definitely needs some manners. So we're gonna see exactly what he knows and see what we have to work on over the next two weeks. Rafi, you gotta come, 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 kind of. Rafi, do you sit? Rafi, sit, sit, sit. Baby, can you sit? Nope. You lay down. Lay down. Sit down? No? Let me go for a walk. Let's go. Right there. Wrong direction. This way. Come on, Abby. <laughs> As you can tell, definitely not too many manners. So why don't you check back here in 15 days and see Ralphie's amazing transformation. I'm a good boy. I'm over here. Hey. Hey. Okay. I'm chocolate. <laughs>
Rebecca, and this is my dog Rothy. He came to the bulletproof training because he had some bad behaviors at the door and for walks. Um, walks were difficult, he jerked around a lot, and he had this god awful bark of extreme excitement to see other people, and especially dogs. And I was afraid that they're going to think he was a mean dog when really it was. He had so much excitement, he couldn't contain himself, and he'd go in for hugs and kisses to the other dog, but other dogs didn't receive him in such a manner, and that was a safety issue for me. Um, in addition, loud noises in cars, he would spin around and almost want to chase cars. So, being that, you know, I've lost other dogs at young ages due to cancer and immobility, I didn't want to lose another one. So, I thank you. Um, he's doing really well with training. Like I said, I've lost a dog before to something I couldn't control. And I didn't want to lose some, the dog to something that I could. So. Thank you. Yeah.